Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live and the situation uh, across the world at uh, universities uh, is really uh, growing and not just universities, but the protest everywhere. This is over in Italy, uh, protests for, you know, ending the war, Israel ending its war against Gaza and, uh, you know, stop the carnage is really what this is all about and it's growing all over the world and uh, even in the United States <clears throat> I like what Daniel McAdams brings out here because there's so many people that are so pro pro Israel that Israel can do no wrong no matter what happens I mean I certainly do not agree with the deaths of over a thousand Israelis that were killed on October the 7th but also it's very obvious that it wasn't just some <clears throat> easy to do Hamas attack. Hamas had uh, prepared this for over a year in advance. The Israelis knew it. They knew it was coming the day that it happened. Uh, and yet still there was no one there to protect the Israeli people from, uh, from this attack. So it's suspect at, at the very least, we could say there. Uh, so people like this guy here, Greg Price, that puts out pro-Hamas idiots in Utah, Austin, discover what happens, why uh, why you troll? Why you tried to pull a Columbia in Texas? Uh, and so, but but the point is, I want to be able to show you. This is the Texas authorities bringing in. Uh, you know, gosh, I don't know if, if it's it's not military, but some type of uh, maybe the National Guard in Texas breaking up uh, the protests there that is happening in Texas. There's so much for freedom of speech. It's not permitted in Texas, obviously, uh, especially if it comes against Israel. And uh, so that, that could certainly be a, a, a problem without a doubt. And, uh, and this is just happening everywhere, though, across the country, though, right now, these protests. The college campuses finally really starting to step up. But notice how the, you know, now this here, this is, I think, the police trying to keep uh, pro, uh, pro-Israeli, well, no, now they're back, they're jumping back to a different one here. <clears throat> then this may be the one in Texas, I take that back. So, uh, breaking out, yeah, state police is what that is there. So, they're just, they're just not permitting the freedom of speech in the state of Texas. Uh, and, and, and I can understand why. And the reason why they're not permitting it is because you've got, uh, like Netanyahu here, who wants to control American the, the American politics, uh, making this statement here. And, and keep in mind, more than 30,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza. In the West Bank, the numbers are rising daily of those being killed, whether it be by settlers, whether it be by um, uh, the, the military there, making raids constantly, killing, pillaging, uh, just like in, in Gaza, and now they're still wanting to do this, this attack on Rafa, and there's no telling how many people in a refugee camp are going to be killed as a result of this next attack that Israel intends to do. I mean, we've got over 15,000 dead children there. And, and believe me, if, if Israel wanted to be able to go in there and try to root out Hamas, they could have, e I won't say easily, but they could have done this much easier than what they're doing without all this uh, loss of civilian life. And you wouldn't have had to carpet bomb an entire uh, uh, province there that these Palestinian people live in. But that was not the way Israel chose to do it. And so therefore, if you dare open your mouth and say a word against Israel, because after all, they are the ones that are the major funding backers of practically every politician in the United States. All you have to do is take a few of those politicians that went up against Israel to find that out. You know, there's so many of them out there that took a true stand for what's right, and they lost their financial backing because Israel's the one that backs all of the U.S. Po political leaders in this country. So therefore... When you see a statement like this, it's no wonder why Texas sends in the state police and breaks up the protest against Gaza and what Israel is doing to the Palestinian people. It is genocide. There's no way else to put it. But listen in to what uh, the Netanyahu regime has to say 
to justify their crimes against humanity. What's happening on America's college campuses is horrific. Anti-Semitic mobs have taken over leading universities. They call for the annihilation of Israel. They attack Jewish students. They attack Jewish faculty. This is reminiscent of what happened in German universities. Let me see if I can do something with the volume on this one moment here. And uh, now, you know, it's all the way up everywhere, so it's just a poor quality volume on his in there, I guess. I, I will say this, and let me clarify, as he talks about they're calling for the death of Israel, they're calling for uh, the death, you know, attacking Jewish faculty, things like that. When I hear things of this happening on American campuses, I cannot help but believe that there has been plants within the movement. Believe me, and I can tell you this, this is known for a fact, every good movement is always infiltrated. And they put their little cronies in there to derail that movement or to bring about what is peaceful to become very evil. Even in a lot of the protest that the black community has done over the years, they would tell you, we came in peacefully. We don't know who these people were that came in and started all this rioting and, and violence and things like that. That's exactly the same thing happening at the campuses and universities today. They will send in the thugs to shout all these anti-Semitic remarks, so to speak, to attack the faculty, and then blame it on the protesters. That's how you're able to get the sympathy of the government and to enact Jewish law in America. No wonder why Noahide law is coming to this country. Listen up. In the 1930s, it's unconscionable. It has to be stopped. It has to be condemned and condemned unequivocally. But that's not what happened. The response of several university presidents was shameful. Now, fortunately, state, uh, local, federal officials, many of them have responded differently, but there has to be more. More has to be done. It has to be done not only because they attack Israel. That's bad enough. Not only because they want to kill Jews wherever they are. That's bad enough. It's also, when you listen to them, it's also because they say not only death to Israel, death to the Jews, but death to America. And this tells us that there's an anti-Semitic surge here that has terrible consequences. We see this exponential rise. Let me explain something to you, Mr. Netanyahu. You said it was shameful for the presidents of these universities to say, make some of the statements they've made. Now, I'm not particularly sure of what their statements were as of yet because I've not listened to those statements. But I'll tell you why their statements are different than, as you pointed out, the local police, the politicians, things like that. You see, you control the politicians of the United States. Therefore, they're going to be at your beck and call. Even though maybe in their conscience, they're sitting there scratching their heads, wondering why they are supporting you as you totally annihilate a people. But... They don't have much choice now. You've controlled. You have, not just you, but in, in, in general, uh, this whole elitist APAC movement has taken control of this country. It is biblical as well. And that's what's even sadder, is that the Christian community that so backs Israel has become too blind to recognize the biblical prophecies that you control the world. And no, I don't cry out for the death of Jews, nor any harm to come to them either, no more than I would cry out for the harm and death for Palestinians. You see, those people that really love humanity care about humanity, period. They don't want war. They don't want death. They don't want destruction going on, neither for Jewish people nor for Palestinian people. But you make it look like all this horrible anti-Semitic things that are going on. You know good and well how Israeli's government has been very much involved in infiltrating these movements. 
putting your plants in there. I'm not saying that maybe some of the protesters there really have that type of sentiment towards Jewish people. Yes, that's a problem too. I agree with that. But I highly doubt that most of them do. I believe more so they've been planted in there to subvert the movement that was peaceful protest. But after all, you kind of are the masters at this because this is why you uh, caused the destabilization of the entire Middle East back about eight years ago, causing all these uh, Arab refugees to be flooded into Europe, especially Western Europe. It's to destroy the democracy of Western Europe. Eventually, you would like to see communism around the entire globe, but communism in one way with a Noahide law. You know, truly, you are much like Ahab. And Jezebel, your wife, who happens to sit in the halls of politics of Congress and the United States Senate, that's your Jezebel. Or maybe that's the prophets of your Jezebel. Haven't quite figured that one out because I'm still working on breaking all that down biblically, but it truly is that you are a modern-day Ahab. And Elijah knows very well. No wonder why God has got to send Elijah back again to condemn the atrocities that your right-wing government, your Smotrich and your Ben Gavir, who incite violence, I guess that's the Frankist doctrine, isn't it? It is very disturbing to say the very least. So the protest here, uh, here is this is, is Whittem College in Washington. Occupation has to go. This is. Hey, hey. Oh. The occupation has to go. The, see, the that's peaceful protesting. Hey, hey. Oh. And all they're saying is the occupation has to go. The occupation has to go. All right. But if you send your little thugs in there, you can turn it into a, like a look like a street brawl or something instead. I don't doubt that a bit in the world. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Uh, I, I figured I'd share this video right here with you. It's kind of I thought it was interesting. How did the Ibex get up on this guy's roof? Well, they're very good mountain climbers, but I guess he's like uh, declaring his dominance of king of the castle, right? <clears throat> so I thought it was. Uh, very, very interesting when I saw this video here. So, gets on the guy's chimney, just sits down and enjoys the view. So, give you something good to look at here as we get ready to close out this broadcast here. Let me kind of encourage you. I was looking at Seymour Hersh's article recently that he put out about Israel's attack on the missile defense shields around the nuclear power plant in Iran. And Seymour Hersh says that Israel used hypersonic missiles from its fighter planes. He also claims that Russia, along with the United States and Great Britain, helped down the drones that were sent in by Iran. Again, <clears throat> that was interesting, especially in light of the fact that uh, uh, Russia is considered to be the bad boogeyman against Israel. Hmm. Makes you wonder, right? So be sure, EMP shield, don't forget to get one. Uh, when you add that to your cart there and, and you're going to check out uh, with regardless of what type of uh, EMP shield you may have gotten, let's say you get one for your home, put the uh, the coupon code INL for Israeli News Live 50. Uh, it's not going to allow me to. Oh, there it is. Um, you want to put that in there. You go to the cart there. Um, looks like it looks like it already did it for me, but uh, here we go. Okay, respond. All right, it already, it already, I think it's already applied the code, the, the, applied it for me, but I just want you to be able to see INL50. That's what you want to put on there. You want to apply that coupon code there. And when you do, they give you additional $50 off uh, the product there. It already showed it to start with. For some reason, I got a glitch in my system showing that. The main thing is, is to know the code. Put the coupon code in there. You'll get a $50 discount on that. Uh, also, too, I want to share with you something here. Uh, on LifeWave, I'm going to just quickly show you an interesting uh, new product that they came out with. I'm not talking about the Alavita, 
But uh, specifically, let me go to the store here real quick. And the reason I want to share this with you, I mean, we're constantly getting testimonials from people, like unbelievable number of them. And in fact, if you've got a testimony because you are one of our, our uh, one of the customers, um, definitely share with us uh, your your um, the, the the different testimonies that you may have uh, out there because. We're getting so many. It's it's amazing the testimonies are coming out. The the main product, the X39, that stimulates your own stem cells in your body. Incredible, incredible product there. Um, it does so many things. My eye vision has improved. I had to cut my my glasses in half on what I was using. Uh, I, I get testimonies every day. My aunt who had Parkinson's doesn't exist now. Uh, Ron Gunter. In fact, that's why I wanted to share a product uh, with you. Uh, as soon as I can find that product on here, uh, Ron Gunter had just uh, shared with me about how that, um, and of course, he's the one that had stage four kidney failure, congestive heart failure, a murmur in his heart. Just went back to his doctor again, by the way. His doctor was blown away because he says, you know, how in the world your kidney failure is at stage two and dropping according to your blood work. Your uh, congestive heart failure, according to your blood work, it's no longer exist. He says the, the leaky valve in your heart, non-existent. Uh, his doctor now is requesting, he's been looking at the science to this, he's requesting to get in and, 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 and get the patches for himself as well. Uh, but then Ron shared with me the other day, he says, Brother, have you, have you uh, looked at the aromatherapy uh, product that LifeWave came out with called Shine? Um, and this is it right here. It's $49.95. There's actually a collection, and David Schmidt recommends that you use both of them. And I'm like, a, 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 a mist? And he's like, yeah, it's an essential oil mist. He said, but listen, this is what he tells me. Now, Ron's 69 years old. He said, Steve, he says, when you use this, he said, you think the energy enhancer, because I love the energy enhancer, you know, besides the X39, I use the energy enhancer almost daily now. Normally when I put it on, I'll leave it on for two days straight. Um, and it works not just on energy, but it's natural energy. There's no caffeine needed. Uh, that's the beautiful thing about the energy enhancer, energy enhancer patches. There's no, it's non-transdermal. Nothing goes into your body. Um, it uses your own body's infrared light, and it's the it's the uh, the the or, ingredients are organic. Uh, I don't let's see. I don't want to take one apart there, but I'll I'll just kind of show you. Um, if you could see that there, see they're they're actually sealed on both sides. So even the material that's in there that's reflecting that light, it doesn't put anything in your body. And so I sit there and I think about all the people that drink monster drinks or 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 Red Bull for energy and to get that burst and you know the 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 bees and the and the sugar and the synthetics that they put in there, especially those little four hour shots I forget what they call those I used to use those every once in a while but it would cause me so many muscle spasms uh, I, I just couldn't do it anymore but yet I need an energy you know because as I got older I have problem with energy well David Schmidt talks about this too with this new product called shine and dream and he said that what it is is that your hormone balance after you turn 50 which I'm at 60 he said it totally changes. And he said from that age forward, we begin to age. Everything declines. Our, our, our hormones are not balanced any longer. He said in the case of women, they'll do bioidentical hormones in some cases. There's all kinds of things that people do to try to slow that process down. And the entire product line that LifeWave had came out with was to be able to do that naturally to where your body could actually do it. Anyway, I don't want to get into a long story about this, but David in this video here, and I'll put a link to it for you, LifeWave Shine and Dream Aromatherapy, uh, where he talks about this product on here. But there's some kind of, uh, I think it's a fungus that grows at the root of a tree there that also has the same effect. It raises testosterone level in the body. 
And if I'm not mistaken, this particular, this mist that you can, that you breathe, you just kind of smell the aroma will increase your, your levels from about 300 if they're low up to about 700. So Ron Gunter, 69 years old, he tells me about it. He actually ordered it. I didn't even know anything about it, right? He tells me about it and he says, brother, he says, my gosh, you think the energy enhancer will give you energy. You got to get that shine and try it. He says, Steve, he says, I had so much energy. You have no idea. And, uh, and so I'm like, Okay, I'm, I'm, so I'm convinced now. So I'm going to actually order it myself as well. So I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. Um, but David, in this video, one thing he does tell, tell us in here, and so I want to just encourage you this because I appreciate the science that he talks about when he gets into these things and how it works. He, he will tell you in every case, you really want to use the foundation of the X39 in your stem cells. Because he said all the other products that he has, they only complement that X39. Now, granted, he didn't start with X39. And don't think weird about the word, the letter X and the 39. It's all specifically was done for a reason. X is the Roman numeral 10. It took him 10 years to develop it and 39 attempts. That's why he called it X39. Uh, but anyway... Go to our website. Uh, we have a website. It's called lifewave.com forward slash Benoon. It's in the description below there. And uh, try that. Uh, and, and I'm going to actually order the package there. If you become a preferred customer when you order, you get a discount. Always get a discount. In this case here, you're going to save, oh, about 15 bucks is what it looks like. Uh, just looking at it from $88.95 for just retail one-time purchase. But if you're on an auto ship, you get it for $73.95. Now, I'm not saying that you want to auto ship shine every month, but you can always start off with, um, with getting the X39 product uh, and, and put that on auto ship. And I think as long as one product is on auto ship, you still get the discount for any of the others. Don't hold me to that. I think that's correct. Um, anyway, God bless you. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.